Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Element Cup Remix. We're gonna start off with a bad you facing the Vulpix, you already see the team here and we're gonna have a freaking lit week into our party. Let's see how well we can adapt to the meta with a lit week because lit week is having a lot of good matchups on the current meta and especially against Vulpix which is gonna be an alternate fire type that you can use but I prefer lit week because it can hold down the Vulpix which is pretty much everywhere. Uh, it's more common than that uh, at Jupiter to be honest and yeah that is pretty fun for Litwick. Uh, so we're having a very bad lead against Vulpix however we managed somehow to win the grass type with our seal and now we have flipped around the entire thing and of course Oman Knight now stands no chance at all against a Razor Leaf. That was three pure Razor Leafs against an Oman Knight and yeah oh boy that was freaking awesome. Another bad lead this time we're met up with uh, a Hooper on the switch that is pretty interesting. Uh, Let's see how they can adapt here because uh, after we block the first one I think they have no chance here since we can get to that icy wind and look at how little damage those matchups and of course the body slams are doing barely tickling our uh, seal here and we have the chance to go here for another uh, move to finish them off. Uh, we will just take this move, we're just gonna over from here, we know that they can charge up to a body slam every four of those uh, matchups uh, so we're gonna take a shield in process uh, they decide to seal the their Hooper at the worst possible scenario which means that if we seal it as well we can safely farm down and then go with the Ice Wind on the next Pokemon which is gonna be the Barbots and that's a pretty cool Pokemon for our Batu. They carry the move Ice Beam but I don't care at all, Razor Leaf doesn't care at all. Down they go, they have the Vulpix at the back, just gonna stay in till they spend their energy and you can see that even resisted Razor Leaf does a lot of work against Fire types. We got the Litwick trainers and look at how flexible Litwick can be. We can take those weather balls too uh, in total and still survive with these while we are completely farming them down. Look at how awesome this fire is gonna be and gonna completely wall down Vulpix without them even able to use that final seed of theirs. Uh, we have now a weird lead on the face of Jupiter, they switch out to the Vulpix and we have Litwick once again coming up against that Pokemon. Uh, good news here is that they go for Body Slam, I don't know why, perhaps they were expecting me to seal i don't know uh, so now they go for the uh, weather ball and we can go for the flame charts by reaching to the flame charts you can go pretty well with your lead week against anything because look at how much damage now we can do we're gonna seal just once here and completely farm down and we're super close to one more are they gonna bring back that uh, jupiter no instead we're gonna see the rock throw from slagma which is gonna be on pokemon that we're afraid of when we're using uh, lead week since lead week is really getting struggled against that uh, slagma. Uh, they return now with the Jupiter and we just have to bring into play our bad you and at this point I'm like bring it on whatever that might be just a mirror code we can survive and still able to deliver hard hitting move with that uh, grass node and right now of course trainers we got the seal over that slagma but let's see how we can do here because they go for the flame charge and I do one fatal mistake I'm not going for the farm down at the 1 HP I decide not to go for that final leg i don't know if that could make any difference but yeah that was my only win con and for some reason i pressed the aqua tail that was a mistake for sure into the next one now though with that jupiter up on the lead we have the bad you things are looking kind of cool and they have now the vulpix so vulpix here is gonna get walled once again i don't know why people go for that body slam it is double resisted while uh, that the weather board is single resisted but anyways uh, we're gonna take it, we can still survive two of those weather balls, uh, so it makes no sense I believe. Anyways, we're gonna see now the seal from my end, because I'm pretty sure we can farm down on the even seal scenario. Down they go, and let's see how they respond to the switch here. I'm expecting that Jupiter, to be honest, to return, here it is, and we have the flame charge ready to unleash massive damage on the Jupiter. They still cannot farm down, because we resist those bug bites by a lot, they have a tapping, and of course we have a water type, which is just gonna go crazy against that Pokemon. Very bad lead against the Ferrocid. And what I don't like about this one is that Seal cannot even do so much work against that Pokemon as well. So we're gonna bring Seal into play and they have a Jupiter. Things aren't looking that well. Perhaps we can win if they have another Pokemon weak to our uh, fire typing. So let's see how this can unfold. Things aren't looking that well for sure. Uh, Jupiter here is gonna uh, be able to take all those moves that we can throw and still deliver hard 
hitting moves with those mirror codes. However, they go for the Pablum Bait here. This is absolutely awesome. We're gonna go now for the Aqua Tail and try for the best to feign down that Jupiter. They managed to shield and guess what trainers? We're going straight for the Aqua Tail once again, forcing another shield and all of a sudden we have a win cone. Down they go on the second shield because they had 1 HP and by blocking you still take 1 HP worth of damage and that was absolutely awesome. Now Ferocid has to face our fire type, they have a seal at the back and we are looking pretty cool right now, especially with the seal up against our Badio. We're just gonna farm down, we have some energy to spare, just gonna go here for that energy ball. I know Grassland was more worth it, but I don't know, uh, energy ball could have lowered their defense. Uh, that's a chance. Uh, so Liquid coming in now, we're just gonna flex our bulk here, which is uh, absolutely worthless and we're gonna take this victory. Absolutely amazing, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Into the next one now, uh, we're having the Jupiter up on the lead. Bagu is gonna do a lot of work against this Pokemon and you're gonna see that in no time, if you block the correct move, the mirror code, things are gonna get towards your way. However, we're not gonna do that because they go for the Bubble Beam and a, a, a really nice uh, bait to be honest and they have a Vulpix as a safe switch. This is the reason I like Litwick. Uh, a lot of people are using either Seal or that uh, uh, Vulpix as a safe switch and when they do with the Vulpix, well Litwick can safely destroy down the Pokemon. Uh, so we're having now the Flame Charge, landing for big damage, down goes the Vulpix, they have the Seal, at this point we don't care, we still have our body here which is just gonna do crazy work against that Seal. Let's go with the Grass Knot, they're gonna block it, they return with the Jupiter, we're farming down with the leaks and now seal returns into the fight but this time trainers we have more HP than them and of course we have debuffed them uh, which means that now they still have no chance at all in winning that entire thing. They're gonna be leading on the next one with a seal. This is a very good lead for us obviously. A grass type with Razor Leaf against a water type well that's a win con for us. Uh, they have a Vulpix at the back on its shadow form and here comes now a second weather ball. We're gonna block it here because I have a feeling they are gonna do exactly the same thing. So here comes now my flame charge, they are not blocking, down they go and we have a lot of HP to spare here. Uh, I think that seal is coming back though which can safely farm it down, look at how much damage those leaks are doing. At the back there is gonna be a Jupiter and things are kinda weird for me right now. I will try to cut here the mirror coat, let's see if we can trainers, yes we can on the seal and that means we can safely go ahead and completely farm down even if they get another mirror code here we don't care at all it's gonna be just a bubble beam though we are gonna be able to unleash uh, two of those uh, icy winds uh, which can deal a lot of damage in combination with the consistency of leak damage uh, so you can see that we are doing a lot of work with uh, seal even on the mirror uh, with those back to back icy winds and as long as they are debuffed we can go in with our Badio and start doing some solid work since now they are uh, left with their final Pokemon and of course Seal stands no chance especially after we sealed that first move. Into the next one now against another Seal, pretty good lead, pretty decent lead and we're gonna see now the Jupiter uh, on the switch. Okay, I'm gonna stay in here a little bit, gonna try to block the Mirror Coat, they decide to go for the Bubble Beam and at this point I'm like bring it on, this is gonna be just another Bubble Beam and I will farm you down. At this point I was testing how things could go. I go for the very late switch to my seal and I'm gonna see now their seal coming into play. What I wanted to do here is to preserve my uh, body with little amount of HP because I know with seal coming in against my seal they want definitely to avoid that body match up. I will have the room and the space empty for my Litwick to swim the entire thing. However, they go here for the switch out to their uh, ferocity and that is looking pretty good to be honest because down we go to their move and unless that is gonna be an iron head, yes it is trainers, we can still survive, gonna bank this energy, they are still switch locked with me, we can bring into play our Litwick and they have to throw at this point, just gonna take the move here, it is gonna be an icy window, not even the aqua tail, they were trying to bait here, let's go now with the flame charge, big damage but they decide to shield so no damage at all and look at how much work Litwick can still do against the seal, I'm just gonna block the move here and completely farm down, we still have some energy, 
technology banked uh, for the end game, but it is never gonna be needed by our seal. Into the next and the final one, trainer, uh, trainers against the Hooper. Uh, they still take some uh, damage with that Razor Leaf. That was awesome. And now we have the best Pokemon against Bulbasaur. That is gonna be the Litwick. We can still hold on to our HP here uh, with that Seed Bomb and completely farm down. Uh, Flame Charge here is gonna connect to the Hooper as well. You can see that uh, Litwick is doing a lot of work against that Pokemon. We pass through that Razor Leaf, which means now that Hooper is dead and we can see the Vulpix at the, as the final Pokemon and we're having the upper hand here because we have a seal at the back. So that's all trainers, thank you for watching, thank you for staying till the end, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and please consider joining as a member if you already haven't done so on my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all into the next one. Take care trainers!